thanks for joining us at five. We do start with breaking news. The federal conspiracy case that brought down former Jackson City Councilwoman Angelique Lee could be drawing closer to other elected officials at City Hall. Yeah, that's right. 16 WAPT's Ross Adams has more for us tonight from City Hall. Just two months after City Councilman Angelique Lee abruptly resigned and pleaded guilty to conspiracy and bribery charges, another person has now been ensnared in the ongoing federal investigation surrounding a bogus hotel project for the Jackson Convention Complex. According to court documents made public Thursday, Sharique Marve Smith is accused of conspiring with three unindicted co-conspirators, two of whom are described as Jackson elected officials. Smith worked with co-conspirator A, described as a Hines County resident. Prosecutors say the two served as middlemen between FBI agents and city officials who allegedly received bribes. Here's what federal investigators say happened. Smith gave unindicted co-conspirator B $10,000 in cash, protective services, presumably a security detail, and they gave that person's family member a job. In exchange for the money and other benefits, co-conspirator B agreed to vote in favor of the project to build the much-talked-about hotel at the convention complex. The city council are the only members of city government who get a vote on a public proposal. Smith also gave unindicted co-conspirator C a $10,000 check for their re-election committee. The document doesn't name that person, but it says co-conspirator C directed one or more City of Jackson employees to move a deadline for the hotel project to benefit the FBI sources. The FBI human sources pretended to be real estate developers from Nashville, Tennessee. Months before FBI agents raided Hines County DA Jody Owens' office and a downtown cigar shop that Owens owns, the FBI sources used Owens to set up meetings to talk about the hotel project with at least five members of the city council, including current council president Virgie Lindsay. Two months ago, Lindsay told us, I found them to be largely unprofessional. Um, I asked them, where is your proposal? Where's the stuff? They had nothing. And so I truly thought they would be people that I would never see again. That was 16 WAPT's Ross Adams reporting. We reached out to Smith's attorney for comment. He said he had nothing to say.